Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here, coming to you virtually through whatever device you're watching me on. Uh, there are so many options now for watching videos, but the really exciting medium, the one that's bounding forward exponentially, is virtual reality, or VR. Now, it's amazing technology, but you shouldn't have to spend hundreds of dollars to get a look inside that technology. Well, that's where the new SparkFun VR IMU breakout comes in. It has the BNO086 Inertial Measurement Unit, or IMU, which was designed to be implemented in Android-based phones to handle all the computations necessary for virtual reality goggles using only the phone. Let's take a look under the hood. SIVA's BNO086 is a combination triple-axis accelerometer gyroscope magnetometer system in package with a 32-bit ARM Cortex-M0+. The BNO086 inertial measurement unit produces accurate rotation vector headings, perfect for VR and other heading applications, with a static rotation error of 2 degrees or less. SIVA offers the BNO086, a drop-in replacement for the BNO080, with enhanced features like a 14-bit accelerometer fusion, reduced idle state power, and interactive calibration. The sensor is quite powerful, and with power comes a complex interface. But thanks to the solder jumpers on the board, you'll be able to select between two different I2C addresses. It's got two I2C quick connectors and is capable of communicating over SPI and UART as well. And now for a little nerd content. For rotation vector, it offers dynamic error of 3.5 degrees with static error of just 2 degrees. Gaming rotation vector sees dynamic error of 2.5 degrees, static error of 1.5 degrees, and dynamic heading drift of just 0.5 degrees per minute. Geomagnetic rotation vector has dynamic rotation error of 4.5 degrees, with static rotation error of 3.0 degrees. It keeps gravity angle error to a mere 1.5 degrees and has linear acceleration accuracy of 0.35 meters per second squared. Its accelerometer accuracy is 0.3 meters per second squared, gyroscopic accuracy is 3.1 degrees per second, and its magnetic accuracy is an incredible 1.4 microtesla. Now this board has so many possibilities, but where do I even begin the journey to fully understanding the capabilities of VRIMU? Well, our SparkFun engineer Pete is here to show you some of the basics. Pete, over to you. All right, thanks Rob. Let's, uh, let's uh, see if we can get some data out of this thing. I put together a little demo. Um, what's so fun about this IMU is that it has this super powerful processor on board and it takes all of the nine off axes and does all the calculations for me, so I just get a beautiful number telling me the rotation position in all axes. So, what did I think? Uh, what would I want to do with this? I was like, air drums, of course. Um, so I strapped it to a drumstick, and um, that is talking to my ESP32, and then that is going to a tsunami that is triggering some MIDI sounds of drums. And so basically, I've got uh, the axis is flowing here on my serial plotter, and you can see when I move this, some fun stuff starts to happen. So if I rotate over this direction, I'm gonna be hitting my ride, I think it's over there. And you can see that orange data line is starting to cruise that direction. And then here I'm in the center. That's where I've designated my snare drum. Um, and then if I go to the left, you see that orange line just went up again or up, up to a different value there, and that's where my, uh, I think I put the kick drum over there. So, now that, that's my yaw, and I'm just getting that raw number straight from the IMU there. And then I also have pitch. So when I come down across that threshold, let's make sure we got enough volume here. Yes! <laughs> so I have this invisible magic drum set in front of me. Basically just three drums, but I've set up some positions where my drumstick hits a snare there, and then I come over here, and I got a kick drum, and a snare. Oh, didn't quite get low enough, so. Been playing with my thresholds, getting them just right. And then over here, I've got a rat. So I can kind of do some fun beats like this. A little like queen we will rock you sort of thing. Yeah. And I imagine with a little more tweaking of my thresholds, um, this could be a pretty viable MIDI instrument. It'd be kind of fun. I had my toddler, well, he's not a toddler anymore. He's eight years old, oh my gosh. I had my son playing with this last night and he immediately was like, you gotta get that data transmitting wire wirelessly. And he is right. So that is the next move for sure. Um, I kept it on the serial monitor so we could we could view some of that data there too. But yeah, that's, um, that's a pretty fun little, whoa. Use case 
for the um, VR IMU. Thanks, Pete. Man, that guy's great. So there you are, a perfect starting point to begin your journey into the capabilities of VR. Get your SparkFun VR IMU breakout over at SparkFun.com, and of course, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Hi there, Spark. I can't even say Spark. Maybe after a hi there, we can cut to a close up. Virtual <laughs> reality or VR. Don't. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, I'm there, I'm there.